Let me guess, you've been learning to code for months. Maybe you have even graduated or finally finished your coding bootcamp. But no matter how many job boards you scroll through, how many applications you fill out, you keep getting rejected time and time again. But you can't seem to figure out how software engineers are landing jobs in this market. You feel like everybody's been coding for years. And here you are, fresh fish in this sea of sharks, feeling like you don't belong and you have been overcome with imposter syndrome. But here's the truth. It's not about how long you've been coding. It's about what you're showing. And today I'm going to walk you through this proven system on creating coding projects that has helped other software engineers land these high paying jobs, even in this competitive market. So stick around, have your pen and pencil ready and get ready to take notes. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started here. So this is how to create coding projects that make the recruiter say yes. I have a lot of stuff to go through in this video. And the first thing I wanted to go over was the do's and don'ts of landing these positions. So first I'll go through all of the don'ts and then I'll go through the do's. So the first don't is start binge watching a random coding tutorial. Honestly, this is the bane of your existence. If you're trying to land a software engineering job in this market. Everyone is out here doing the same thing, watching the same tutorials. So there's nothing that is standing out about you. And the second thing is create a full stack website. If you want to get into game development and vice versa, I know this might sound like common sense, but the thing is people are really doing this. This is something that is very common. They have this mentality of wanting to be very versatile in the job market. And although it's a good thing and it's not the worst way of thinking, but just not like that. And when you're recruiting, recruiters see your applications they need to see that you really do this okay and that you are a right fit for that position so having a game project on your full stack website doesn't really give off that message that you want it to give off another thing is don't use ai to help you create projects because you're cheating listen time and time again people think that if they are using ai to create their projects they are like cheating and it's not holding true and that's why a lot of people go through this imposter syndrome is because they need to use tools online to help them create the software that they want to create and that's exactly what you should be doing but that's a don't and we'll talk about the do's in a bit and the last don't is wait until the project is perfect before putting it on your resume and applying now if you waited until you created three standout coding projects to put them on your resume and all of them had to be perfect it will take you months it will take you months maybe even a year just to land a software engineering job it shouldn't be like that and we'll talk about that in the video and here are some of the do's that you should be doing you should take inspiration for coding projects that helped others get hired and then create your own version of it so if you see a very popular coding project for example let's say somebody created a coding project that helped college students find different roommates. What you could do is you could create a coding project that helped college students find different programs and clubs that they can join at their school. Your own version of it, but something that's similar that still worked. Here's another do create something that you genuinely find interesting. The best way to create a coding project and actually have it go live is by creating something that you genuinely have interest in. Otherwise, it's just going to be something that never gets finished. Another do is use AI to come up with ideas and help you get the MVP out faster. Again, going with the whole AI thing, you should be using AI. We are software engineers, so why don't we use software to help us engineer these projects? And then a bonus, I just wanted to throw one in there for you guys, is use ethical AI implementation to really wow recruiters. In this market, ethical AI implementation might not be specifically put on the job board, but it does help you stand out. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get into the to the nice juice here. So reverse engineer job applications. This could be the number one reason why you're not getting hired. This is how you do that. So you're going to pick one role to prepare for deeply so you're competitive, but stay open to others. Just like in the do's, don'ts, I, I said I was going to talk about it. And this is what I mean. It's, it's for example, if you are a front end developer, you specialize in front end development you would still prepare for a front end development role very seriously and have your resume tailored to like front end development, but you would still have things in there that you can stay open to other positions. If you were to get a back end or a full stack position, gather 10 to 15 job applications and identify the common tech stacks and business needs. And then you would just go over 10 to 15 job applications and highlight common things that you see in them just like this. 
we're doing research right now we're doing research and now we're going to with all the research that we did we're going to create two market relevant briefs define a problem the user and the solution for example here is here's something that i could do tell you guys this is a project that i created for a barbershop one time so the barber was able to go to instagram and anybody who booked a cut with him through his instagram link he was able to schedule them all out and boom he had like his business running through there but the problem was whenever people would walk into the barbershop he would have no way of gathering the data of walk-in clients so i created something that allowed his clients to go ahead and w walk in and they would still get booked and still be placed in line i created found the problem the user and the solution boom and add real world complexity to these problems. This could be things like authorization or adding payments. And my project, what I did was I added authorization and try to pick realistic APIs. It stops you from hard coding unnecessary things. This is the easiest example that I could possibly give you guys is say, I know a lot of you may have already created weather apps and what stopped you from hard coding the weather apps into saying whatever the degrees were, you would, instead of saying something like, it's gonna be sunny, 75 degrees. What you could do is grab a weather API. There's probably hundreds of them and they just use that and boom. Now they have APIs that doesn't make them hard code things. Sweet, so we created these two market briefs from what we got out of these job applications. Now it's time to create, but when we create, it's important that we build with a purpose. So two standout projects and one signature. I'll go over all of that here in this video. So with all the information that we gathered, now it's time to build these projects. We'll create two standout projects that align heavily with all of the research that we did. And then we will create one project that seriously highlights our skills. For example, if you're a front end developer, you will really highlight your skills by creating beautiful animations and a clean UI UX. So with these two standout projects, what we would do is we would look at this, our job applications, and we would see, okay, they need a high quality scalable web application. Let's create a high, high quality scalable web application. They need you to design, optimize, and manage relation, ra ra relational databases using SQL. So we will create just that. Really easy really easy i know it might sound a little tough and it might sound a little hard but it's okay We're, we've got this we've we've got tools to use that we have ai nowadays we can create these things and then finally it's we will create one project that seriously highlights our skills okay now if you are a front-end developer what you would do is you would create a really good high quality front end make a beautiful UI, highlight your skills, show that you are skilled in front end. That is what our project is gonna be. That is going to be our signature project because we are good at this. And this goes into right into the next topic, which is polish and don't perfect. This should be the fastest step. What we're going to do is make it pretty, make the code base pretty and not all over the place. Then we are going to work a bit on more on the UI UX, making it something that looks clean to the recruiter's eyes. We don't want to overwhelm them with a sloppy website just because it suits their needs. This isn't about perfection. This should take about a day or two max for each project. Okay, so what I mean is when I say we, what we are going to do is make it pretty, make the code base pretty and not all over the place. Think about it like this. If I know guests are coming over, what I'm going to do is just fix up my room a little bit, fix up, fix up the house, fix up some things. If I know someone's going to come into my room, I'll fix up my room a little bit. It's not going to be, I hope it's not all just like all over the place because I've been able to keep it nice, but I'm just going to make, put some things away. Maybe wipe my desk a little bit, just make it look nice. And in relation to your code base, you would take out all of those unnecessary console logs and a, a bunch of unnecessary things that you have in your project. Then we are going to work a bit more on the UI and UX, making it something that looks clean to the recruiter's eyes. We don't want to overwhelm them with a sloppy website just because it suits their needs. Here's a good example of this. Um, if we are hiring a person to come clean my dishes, just because they clean the dishes really nice, made it look really clean, I'm not going to hire them if they just left all the clean dishes all over the counter. Yeah, I'm able to grab one of those dishes and use it and eat on it and it's gonna be really clean. I know it's clean. Because they literally left it messy, put it all over the counter, I'm just not going to hire them. 
And you should take that same process and put it into a recruiter's eyes. So fix up your projects, you know, make the, make the UI and UX a little bit cleaner. Again, we can use AI for this stuff. Again, this isn't about perfection. This should take a day or two max for each project. Too many software engineers are not deploying their projects online. There's so many benefits to deploying your projects and here are three different benefits that you'll get from doing so. Companies love to see that you actually deploy your projects. It shows technical skills, even though it's maybe just a minor one, it still shows your technical skills when it comes to deploying them. Like it still is a process. It still is a process that recruiters like to see because having your projects live just looks better. And too many applicants are leaving all of their coding projects on GitHub and sending the repos rather than the live link. Since a lot of applicants are leaving their coding projects on GitHub and you actually have a deployed website, that looks way better. And lastly, you can literally post your projects online for free on websites. There's websites like Netlify, there's websites like Render, there's websites like Vercel. So many different places that you can actually post these websites. And that is how you create coding projects that actually makes the recruiter say yes. If you are still stuck, don't worry, I got you. If you need more help, I've worked with multiple software engineers, helping them land high paying positions with this exact system on creating coding projects. You don't need to do this alone. You can book a free consultation where I see if you're in the position for me to help you land a job. The link will be in the description for this. For example, here's Audrey. She landed a software engineering job in 70 days and with working with me, only 70 days. That's pretty amazing. We have Jijoki, he landed a position with, within only two months of working with me. And Shumbosho, he landed a position within only a month of working with me. That shows that the systems I'm telling you guys, they work. They consistently work. By the way, I only work with the markets in USA, Canada, UK, and Australia. If you work in these markets, the link will be in the description. You can go ahead, book a call, and I'll talk to you there. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.